Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we'll learn how to create a Gnosis safe multi-sig wallet in a secure way, step by step. So apparently putting the mic on is not enough. You actually need to know how to operate this thing. And as you probably know, hardware fails us all sometimes. And it failed me this time. It really failed me. And I hope that the next time it won't fail me and I will be able to provide for you videos with amazing sound quality. Thank you for the patience. Gnosis F is one of the best and trusted uh, multi-sig wallets if you want to secure your funds better. If you are a project that has smart contracts, sensitive smart contracts that holds a lot of money, it's always recommended to use Gnosis Safe, which is a multi-sig wallet. So if someone compromises one private key or one signature, he won't be able to steal the funds because you can make two out of four signatures or three out of five, up to you. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna go through the creation process. Make sure to watch it till the end so you create it in a safe way. Tutorial step by step. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. Now, without further ado, let's get Get started. All right, so Gnosis Safe is supported in a lot of different chains. I'm gonna show this example on the Ring B, which is the Ethereum testnet, but you can do the same with Polygon, BNB, Ethereum, Avalanche, whatever chain you want. And so by going to gnosisafe.io uh, app welcome, you can either create a new safe or add existing safe. This is very, very similar to creation, creating new wallet because this is also kind of wallet, but more secure. So we're gonna choose here, create new safe. And it's quite straightforward. We're gonna click here, continue. Now you need to name the safe. It doesn't, it's not gonna be stored on chain. It's not important, it's just for your convenience. So if you have multiple safe, you can basically differentiate them by the name. So we're just gonna do Johnny Time Test. So this is gonna be Johnny Time Test Safe. We're gonna click here, continue. And here you add the owner. So as I mentioned before, Gnosis Safe is multi-sig wallet, which means that in order to execute transaction, it's basically a smart contract that it's, it behaves like a wallet. And in order to execute transaction, you need multiple signatures. You need multiple wallets in order to, uh, let's say, vote for a transaction to go through. So you can choose basically how many owners this safe has and how many signatures are required in order to execute a transaction. You can do one owner, but then it will be just a normal wallet, but you can do also maybe two owners and let's say you want to make a mutual fund with a friend or a partner so you can make a own together safe and you can add your two addresses, your two signatures so any one of you can withdraw money. Maybe we need permission for two of you to withdraw money. And this is the, the time, this is the step where we add the owners. So this is Johnny, this is the account who creates the wallet and we want to add another owner, let's call it owner two. And I'm just gonna paste, this is basically the second account in my MetaMask wallet, just for the sake of the example, but you can add any address that you want that will be the owner of the safe. And now here you have to choose how many a transaction requires to, for confirmation, how many confirmation needs in order to uh, execute a transaction. And you can either choose one out of these two owner, two out of these two owner, and you can add as many owners as you want. And then you can choose how many signatures are required in order to send a transaction. So this is a very crucial step in the creation of the safe. In this example, we're gonna choose two signers and we need two out of these two in order to send a transaction. So I'm gonna click here, continue. And now this kind of review of summary of all the settings. So you have two safe owners, Johnny and signer two. It's gonna be great ring be safe, two out of two owners in order to approve a transaction. And we're gonna click here, create. And now it's gonna create a smart contract that will represent the safe. So we're gonna click here, confirm, send a transaction. It will be submitted, will be validated, and it will deploy a new smart contract that will be our safe. That's it, the safe was created. Now you can click here, get started and see all your safe. You can manage transaction, manage your assets, see what of the history of the transaction, everything gonna be there and we're gonna see it in a moment. That's it, I congratulations. The safe was created, now you can use it, but this I will keep for another tutorial. We have another tutorial that's gonna be published soon where we'll have tutorial of how to use Gnosis safe. So if you wanna make sure 
to watch this video, subscribe to the channel. It will include uh, managing signatures, sending transactions, and all this kind of interesting stuff. So just we're gonna check now how to send funds to the safe. So the safe is basically a smart contract. This is the newly created safe. And we're gonna, let's say, send some money to the safe. So I'm gonna copy the address. We can also go to the Ether Scan Explorer to the Ring by Network to check the smart contract. So if we go, to, so this is the Testnet Explorer for Ring by Network and we'll paste the safe address. Let's see. And this is the newly created Gnosis Safe Proxy Smart Contract. Now we can send funds to the safe or we can ask people to send funds to the safe. And this is basically the secure safe. So I can now send Ether to the safe. Let's send some ETH. Let's send 0.02 ETH. Okay. Now I'm sending the ETH. Confirm. The transaction will be submitted and the safe is supposed to have money later on. The, the transaction was submitted, I sent some ether to the safe and now you can see that it's reflected on the balance. You can see over here that we have around $30, which is 0.02 ETH. It's two out of two. You can see also the transactions, the assets, the address boot, but let's keep some juicy stuff for the next tutorial. So make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. If you like this video, smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching these videos and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye.